The cloud native revolution is now well underway in the telecom sector. But what does this mean in terms of the broader changes underway at network operators? And how is it related to the increasing interest in disaggregated network architectures? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Jean Marius Antonica, Software Product Line Manager for Edge Computing at Lenovo. Uh, Jean Marius, thanks for joining us today. Good to see you. Uh, to start with, uh, what is Lenovo's perspective on the telco transformation that is ongoing right now? Hello, Ray, and thank you for having me. What we're seeing in the telco market from our perspective of an infrastructure and services provider is that the hype around disaggregated infrastructure is more or less gone, and the operators are beginning to go up the enlightening uh, slope, so to say, uh, slowly but surely. And we're seeing that they're increasingly more interested in automation, in building uh, nimble and agile networks that uh, meet their needs, but they also have a very pragmatic approach to it. They no longer uh, try to do a big bang build of their, uh, of their new networks, but they take it uh, incrementally and what fits gets implemented, what doesn't, and it's not yet mature, it's uh, uh, delayed for, uh, for future. Yeah, so a lot of changes ongoing right now for the operators. Uh, where does cloud native fit into this whole picture? Well, cloud native is mandatory for the kind of transformation that uh, the telcos are going through right now. Um, from, from our perspective, we're seeing a lot of uh, transition from inside a data center to outside of a data center from the point of view of deployments. And um, that brings with it a change in the scenery from the kind of infrastructure that you see. Um, with uh, virtualization giving way to containerization and um, containers being deployed straight on bare metal, as opposed to having an intermediate layer in between the, the hardware and the, and the containers. And I think one of the reasons for why this is happening is that when you move outside of the data center and you go towards the edge of the network, the resources are much more constrained. So you don't have the same luxury that you have inside a data center and you need to become much more efficient in how the um, uh, applications or how much uh, resources the applications consume. And there's nothing better than containers to obtain this, uh, this efficiency. So um, from a cloud native perspective, uh, there's the orchestration, there's the automation that you need to put into play to um, make it all work together. And um, in order to do that, you need to have a good uh, a, a performant um, container runtime and also uh, optimize hardware for that, uh, for that purpose. So I would say that the, the cloud native architecture drives a series of decisions that the operators, the telcos need to make uh, from the point of view of how they build their, their infrastructure and how they, they, they build their, uh, their network. Okay, so I mean, cloud native playing an increasingly important role in telco strategies. Uh, so what is Lenovo doing to help telcos adopt a cloud native approach to their networks? We are taking an approach to uh, be the most easy to work with partner from this perspective. We are building both uh, organic software that is um, helping tie and bring, bridge the gaps between the orchestration that happens at CNF level and BNF level with the orchestration that happens at the, at the hardware level. And this is um, uh, often overlooked by um, the orchestration orchestrators out there. But we are also uh, building reference architectures and uh, reference blueprints that help the telcos to get to where they want faster because 
this kind of reference architectures and blueprints are pre-validated with um, our partners in our labs and also in um, customer environments. So when you have to deploy them in the field to produce results, you get to those results much faster because all of the setups and all of the um, nitty gritty of getting it uh, running have already been done by us and our partners. I was also uh, touching on the gaps that the orchestrators have in terms of the uh, cloud native uh, kind of deployments. And these gaps, surprisingly or not, are appearing very close to the hardware, very close to the infrastructure, where things like how do you uh, register, how do you onboard a new device in your uh, environment without having to send specialized people in the field is something that the production rollouts have been uh, struggling with. And with the help of our homegrown software, Lenovo Open Cloud Automation, we are able to bridge this gap for this uh, near zero touch provisioning and uh, instantiation of the infrastructure so that the orchestration can now happen from the bare metal up to the application in a series of federated uh, orchestration. Yeah, so simplification and automation are definitely two of the things that uh, network operators are looking for to help them with these processes. Uh, now, you mentioned uh, you know, uh, blueprints and bringing lots of different elements together. Uh, are telcos still looking for disaggregated best of breed technologies for their networks? Well, the answer is yes. But the, the key here is that they don't want to put them together themselves. So they uh, look at partners such as Lenovo and our ecosystem of partners to come with the uh, proposal of best of breed architectures um, with the different components already glued together. And they want that to be implemented in their network. And ideally, they also want to consume it as a service, is if possible. So um, not only from a, a technical perspective, let's say uh, having it easy to consume with uh, northbound APIs and um, this kind of automation capabilities, but also from a commercial perspective with um, billing and um, um, portal management portals that uh, self service portals from which they can uh, get the services that they need and um, this is something that uh, we are definitely investing in with um, our uh, true scale offerings for commercial and uh, uh, commercial models as a service but also as i was mentioning before giving this uh, sensation or feeling of bare metal as a service where you can um, uh, use the infrastructure that you have, but almost as if you're running in a, a cloud environment where you don't need to touch the actual hardware. You can use an API and you can um, uh, implement this uh, instantiation or this uh, bring up of the infrastructure within your CICD or continuous integration, continuous development uh, pipeline for cloud native applications. Yeah, the, I mean, those sound like really important developments there. I mean, pre-integration, obviously really important, but also these different models about how to use and consume things. That, that's definitely a growing trend in the industry that we're hearing about from operators. So, uh, Jean Marius, thanks very much for joining us today. Uh, great to hear Lenovo's insights and uh, look forward to speaking with you again in the future. Thanks very much. Thank you for having me.